whether you're one of the few remaining people who do not have a Facebook account, or maybe you want to start from scratch. It's really hard to get a Facebook account that doesn't automatically link to all of your friends. So how can you create one that isn't going to link to people you know, your friends, your family, your acquaintances, and people who just happen to be next to you in line at the grocery store? Let's talk about that. Amongst the ways that Facebook identifies who your friends are, the first thing is going to be that email address or phone number you use to create your Facebook account with. You do not need both. You need one or the other. It's actually easier, clearly, to make a new email account than it is to get a new phone number, although either way is possible, right? Um, the apps that give you those fake phone numbers, those are not going to cut it. Facebook knows those apps exist. It pretty much blocks most VOIP numbers that aren't coming through a major carrier. So that includes Google Voice numbers. If you create a brand new Google Voice number, you think that's gonna work for Facebook, it's not. So you do need clear email where you have emailed no one and no one has emailed you so that that email is not in anyone's contact list and you have no one in that email's contact list. That's what you need for your email. The phone number would be the same. No one's ever called you on that number and you have never called anyone. Now, the recycling of e phone numbers is still gonna mess things up, but it's, you know, if you have a recycled number from somebody else, then it's gonna be their friends that are getting suggested to you and not your own, which you're probably okay with if you're just trying to create an account where you pick and choose who sees that you have this account. The next thing is gonna be, of course, uh, your contact list on your phone. So if you put the app on your phone, it is gonna grab whatever contact list you have on your phone, whether it's tied to the email you use with the app or not. Just by default, first thing that these apps do when you put them on the phone is grab the contact list. They want that contact list because the more people they suggest you to, the more people you're gonna connect with friends on their app, the more time you're gonna spend in their app, the more ads you're gonna see in their app. So that is the number one thing that they want. You have to make sure it doesn't get your, get your contact list. So if you're gonna put it on a phone which you actually actively use and actually maintain a contact list on, you don't wanna use the app. You wanna instead log in via one of your browsers and that way it won't, the app for Facebook and Facebook itself will not have access to your contact list. The app is actually the key to why it knows your phone number for your friends. So for example, maybe you don't have a contact list on your phone, but you have a brand new phone and you're going to use it, but you call your friends, etc. but you keep deleting your contact list. It's their contact list. They have the app on their phone. It's grabbing their contact list. Their contact list has you in it, and it's going to add you as that user as well. Another thing you might want to think about is sharing Wi-Fi. If you share Wi-Fi with your family members who are all on their Facebook accounts and you're on your Facebook account on that same Wi-Fi, then chances are that IP address is going to tie you together and it's either going to suggest you to the family members or whoever, or whoever you're sharing Wi-Fi with or to their friends. This is also true with location. If you happen to be in the same location with other people who are on their Facebook apps all the time as well, it may suggest you to that person or maybe not even to that person, but rather to their friends. Why would it not suggest you to the person and why to their friends? Because Facebook is aware that it can be creepy to you know, spend time with a person somewhere and then suddenly you suggest it to them on Facebook. Also, if you're on any other apps that you log in with Facebook and the friends that you have on those apps you might start getting suggestions to in your Facebook app. Instagram, of course, because Instagram is part of Facebook, so is WhatsApp, part of Facebook. But even things like Tinder that you log into with Facebook, you may find yourself being suggested to people who you have communicated with on Tinder. There are probably thousands of other ways, including facial recognition, that the Facebook is connecting you with people. So facial recognition one, for example, they definitely are using facial recognition to connect people. They bought one of the best facial recognition tools out there, face.com. They shut them down, closed all the licenses, put them inside, and they continue to work on them. If you go into your settings on Facebook and you go into timeline and tagging, the very last choice was one that says, who sees tag suggestions when photos that look like you are uploaded? And you click edit and you can see that that is asking them who they can send stuff they've done for facial recognition to to confirm that it's you. Note that they don't send it to you, they'll send it to your friends. 
But even if you say no one, that doesn't mean they're not doing facial recognition on you. That just means they're not sending it to your friends to confirm that it is you. They're still doing the facial recognition. So when you make your brand new Facebook account and you have a new email address and you're not using a phone and you're not using an app and you're being very careful about it, you're not using the same Wi-Fi as anybody else and maybe you'd only turn on that phone when you're not somewhere where anybody else who has Facebook that you know is online, even then, when you upload a picture of your face, it's gonna scour that same face and other people's photos are on Facebook and it's gonna link them together in that way and tie you together as knowing each other. So, my suggestions for creating a Facebook account that doesn't link to your real friends and so that way you can pick and choose who you really wanna be friends with on Facebook. First of all, you're gonna get that email address. My go-to choice is always Gmail, but Gmail does require a backup email address and you don't want that to be a real backup one that's going to tie to you either. I'm not saying that Facebook would figure that out because Facebook would have to get into Gmail in order to figure that out, but let's, let's cut the ties, right? One website that you can use to get a backup email for that new Gmail account is 10minutemail.com. You go to 10minutemail.com, you have that email address for exactly 10 minutes. You sign up for a brand new Gmail account, you use that backup email for your Gmail, and bam, you have a brand new Gmail that does not tie to any of your other accounts. Use that Gmail to create your Facebook account. When you create your Facebook account, are you gonna put your full name in there? Now, Facebook wants real names, but that does not necessarily mean it has to be your full real name. They also know you need privacy, so a lot of people are using their first name and middle name, or else maybe their middle name and last name. I hesitate on the last name. First name, middle name. Sounds like a great one to me. Or you can sign up for, with your real name to start and then change it at some point. If you do decide to do that, go into your settings. Go into uh, the general settings where you have the name and you, when you change it, also change your username. Remember that you can change your username only once. If you let Facebook auto-generate one, it's gonna be generated on the name you have. You might wanna change it to a, an actual username that's not related to your name. Next, you have to upload a picture, but does it have to be a picture of your face? It doesn't. What are you interested in? What are your favorite things? You like Starbucks a lot? Get Starbucks. Take a picture of your you know, favorite drink at Starbucks or just the logo or something. Take a picture of something you're interested in. Put that as your profile picture. Don't use your face. Again, remember that the minute you put your face in there, Facebook is going to do facial recognition and it's going to link you to a lot of other things, mostly for the purpose of sending you advertisements, but also to link you to the people you may know so you create more friends on Facebook. And lastly, be careful where you connect. If you're connecting via Wi-Fi, remember that anybody else who's on the same Wi-Fi as you may be suggested as friends or their friends may be suggested as friends. Probably okay while you're at Starbucks, but is it okay at work? Is it okay at home? Even if you choose not to use Wi-Fi, maybe you're gonna use your cell service, be wary about where you are when you're using that cell service. Starbucks again, probably okay. I'm not advertising for Starbucks here, by the way. <laughs> but, you know, somewhere away from where your real friends are actively using their, their Facebook account, and not even actively. So if you're at Starbucks with your friend and they have Facebook on the app, Facebook is always on. So it's still gonna locate you two together. Those are just my tips. If you want to take it to even a further degree, you can get something like a Faraday bag, so you have a device where it just has that Facebook account and it's locked away in a signal-proof bag while you aren't using it. And then when you go to use it, you would have your phone off, for example, so it wouldn't be in the same area, and you could then take it, the other one out of the bag, use it, or turn it off. Either way, there's a lot of steps you can do to take it to extremes, but functionally, just take those tips that I had to heart. Here are those tips again. Brand new email address, brand new Facebook creation, not using the same Wi-Fi, not being located near anybody who's using Facebook at the time or has a Facebook app, and be careful what your name and your photo look like.